So in China, when you have a chance to go to visit a local like a park, local temple, palace, you will find out that there's a lot of a tree, but mainly all those kind of tree, we call it a cypress, cypress, a kind of a pie tree. This kind of a tree, the meaning is longevity, long life, good luck, because the color of the leaves always maintain green, green color, no matter winter or summer. So that is the meaning of a life, yeah. So it's kind of a good luck. This is uh, made of uh, the local marble, one piece of a marble. So during ancient time, this is a, what do you call it? The path for the emperor to pass it. But this one for the dead emperor to, yeah. Yeah, to walk through this area. And you can see there's some uh, carving, some animals. And uh, like this one is, a, we call it a heavenly horse. This is uh, the main building of a main tomb, Chang, we call this tomb, it's a Chang tomb. It's a wooden construction, no single nails, no, no nails. nails, only wood. They use wood to join each other. All the columns, those are sandal wood, sandal wood. And this building start to build 1409, 1409, which is 602 years old already. And when we go to Forbidden City, all the columns, there's uh, like a, some painting, right color, surrounded the woods. It's not only for decoration, it's not just for pretty. Actually, it's to protect the woods. Mm -hmm. But this one, no need to do any protection because the sandal wood can last more than thousands of years long without anything. Yeah. This is the statue for the main emperor, Zhu Di, the third main emperor, Zhu Di. So you can see a lot of people throw money coins to there. So they pray for good luck. And this one we call it a Phoenix and the Dragon Gate. The local people said, this is a gate, enter another life. So most of the people don't want to go through from the middle of the gate. They go from here. This one we call it a tablet. Tablet, steel, right? It's made of one piece of white marble but a pin in red color. Red is a lucky color during Ming and the Qing Dynasty for good luck. And uh, on the top, can you see, there's a two dragon, two dragon. And in the middle, there's a two Chinese character. The meaning is a character, the name we call it a Da Ming. The meaning is a great Ming Dynasty. The rest of the Chinese word, the meaning is, this is the tomb for Zhu Di, the emperor from Ming Dynasty, Zhu Di. And uh, behind this tower, that is the buried area for the emperor. Because uh, all the bricks, there's uh, like a label. They write down where is the place to make it, uh, who is the one to be in charge. So that is the brick only used to build this tomb, the main tomb. You can see this one clearly. This one. No matter the front part or the back part, you will find something like this. The emperor of Judy, when he died, he buried 16 concubines alive. So they said that each well, the water well, they bury eight girls. There's another water, another water well over there, the opposite area. So you can imagine 16 concubines were killed, killed. When they decide who will become the lucky concubines, they will give them one piece of a silk, which is a white color and lock them inside the room so they can, they may hunk themselves. After they die, they carry the body here to bury the body here.